Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Kanal and this beautiful boy here is Zuma. Zuma, like a lot of other greyhounds, has a unique greyhound problem and that is a corn. Um, he's got a corn in his left front foot. A corn is a hard, circular area of thickened pad tissue. They occur in the toe pads of greyhounds and are mainly found in the pads on the central toes in the front limbs. Corns cause severe lameness especially when walking on hard, uneven surfaces. Owners often find their greyhounds become reluctant to go for walks or play. The latest technique to deal with corns is what we call a superficial digital flexor tenotomy, where we, we cut the superficial digital flexor tendon and that helps to reduce the pressure on the digit, which will then help the corn to go away. Previously, we used to cut the corns away, but that wasn't found to be very effective. So this is the procedure he's going to have today. And hopefully in some time, he'll be running around and doing his zoomies without a problem. What do you think, Zuma? Zuma is extremely lame. That corn is causing a lot of pain and discomfort. You'll also notice that every time the sore paw touches the ground, his head bobs up as he tries to reduce the pressure. We admit Zuma into hospital and examine his foot closer. We begin to make a plan ready for his surgery. We run his bloods and place him on an IV drip. From here, we induce him ready for anesthesia. Once he is anaesthetized, we will perform an X-ray just to confirm that he doesn't have another common greyhound condition called grit in pad. They're sensitive creatures greyhounds and they have very, very delicate foot pads. Once the x-ray is all clear and there is no grit in that pad, we are ready to prep for theatre. Alright, so this is Zuma's little toe that has the corn right there. And what we're going to do is to find the superficial digital flexor tendon, which is right here. And we are going to make an incision on top of it and cut it. And when we do that, the pressure on this corn will reduce and as that pressure reduces over the next eight weeks, this corn will disappear. The nurse disinfects the surgery site. The vet then double checks the area and ensures that the tendon they are about to cut matches with the toe. Here you can see the tendon. The next step is cutting this tendon and taking away a small piece so that it does not rejoin. Corns are caused by repeated mechanical trauma or pressure to the pad. This is the normal foot of a greyhound. Notice how the toes are curved, putting a little bit of pressure on that pad. This is what a greyhound's foot looks like after a tendinectomy procedure. In this case, the two middle toes were affected by corns. Notice how those toes are much flatter, allowing less pressure on the toe pads. The latest procedure, as shown in this video, involves cutting only the connecting superficial digital flexor tendon. This causes the nail to stick forward but remain in contact with the ground. This procedure allows the greyhound to walk straight out of the clinic. You can almost instantly see some form of improvement in the way that the dog walks. After this procedure, the dogs are required to return for a bandage change and to recheck the surgery site. There are only two stitches placed, which are removed in 10 days. As Zuma appeared for his bandage changes, we tested out his walking. And as you can see, he continued to improve at each visit. By the time he reaches eight weeks post-op, we expect his corn to be completely disappeared. Zuma is now out of pain and is so much more comfortable. His family tell us he is running around and is back to his usual self. If you suspect your greyhound may have a similar problem, please get in touch with our team. Dr. Kanal will be very happy to meet you and your grey. Our contact number is 8373 0301. We look forward to meeting you.